Warning, this content may be upsetting or disturbing to some audiences. What was the creepiest slash scariest thing that ever happened while you were alone? Heard my name when I was alone in my room one time. Heard it clear as day. When I was around 11 or so my siblings and I were all playing hide and seek in my house. Now I know under the bed is the first place you always look but for whatever reason I decided to hide under my little sister's bed in her dark room. I could clearly see I was the only one under the bed and I was the only one in the room and I shot out from under the bed and told everyone what happened and that was the end of the game. My cousin and I went to Dallas together but he had to stay an extra day for work so I came back to his house on my own. He lives on top of a hill in a big old house and it was a bit creepy. I was just lounging around when I hear what sounded like some heavy footsteps running a few steps and suddenly stopping. Holy crap. I have a major freak out. Went to check the doors to make sure they were locked. Front door, locked. Side door, locked. Back door. Oh. My. God. Not only unlocked but slightly open. Closets, under beds, everywhere. I don't see anything out of the ordinary. Footsteps continued every once in a while. I was pretty sure I was going to die that night. Spoiler alert, I didn't. Once I was alone in the house and heard an elderly lady say hello in a crackly voice. I froze, freaked out a bit, but then manned up and gave my own crackly hello back, only to hear the same voice again. Long story short, turns out the cat I was babysitting for my friend can mimic human speech, like who the FCK knew cats could do that? Last Mother's Day I was at my grandma's house. My sister had just checked herself into rehab and I was feeling pretty upset about the whole thing. I went upstairs to my grandpa's old room, he passed away about 8 years ago, and just kind of sat there for a while. There was a big picture of my uncle on the mirror in the room, taped, that all of a sudden fell off the mirror onto the floor. The door was closed, as was the window. Now he is really successful, has a beautiful family, etc. I like to think that my grandpa moved the picture to tell me that my sister was going to be okay. I was a utility locator, I used to work on a team with my dad. To find a gas service from the gas main to the house, you must connect the equipment at the gas meter. Many older homes have the gas meter in the basement. In this particular day, we get to a house that had the meter in the basement. I go up, knock on the door, the homeowner points me in the direction of the stairs to the basement. I go down and I see the gas meter in the corner with two walls built around it making it like a closet with no door. No lights in the crawl space. As I step into the closet area, I hear what I can only describe as a demonic growl come from the crawl space. I step out, and call my dad. Not wanting to sound spooked, I just say I need a flashlight. He hung up, I stood outside of the doorway and just reached in to hook up the equipment. My dad comes down the stairs with the flashlight. And as he steps through the door to see if I got it in the dark, that same demonic growl comes from the crawl space. He about knocked me over trying to get back. He hands me the flashlight and goes back outside. I just stood there pointing the flashlight into the crawl space with a feeling something was watching me. He calls and says he's done. I grabbed the equipment as quickly as possible and got the FCK out. Don't know what it was but it wasn't a dog or raccoon or anything I've ever heard before or since. This didn't happen to me, but my sister. She was home alone and I was out at the mall with a friend. I called her to ask what t-shirt she wanted from the store I was at and she told me she was scared that there was ghost in the house. I asked what happened. She had put a hot pocket in the microwave and gone into her room to change. While she was changing, she heard the microwave go off signaling that her hot pocket was done. We have a small house, the kitchen and living room are open and connected and her room opens to the living room. If that happened to me while I was alone, I would have been out of there so fast. I was raised by my grandmother and when she passed I continued to live in her house for a time until my family sold it on. One morning I was tidying and heard a creaking in her room, I never went in there once she passed, I just assumed it was in my head. When I was about 10-11 yo I was walking home from a local store that was across the street from my apartment complex after buying milk. I walked by an older gentleman maybe late 60s. I ran faster than I ever have in my life. Never told anyone. Never saw him again. Deaf creepy. Actually happened to me a few days ago. I was procrastinating on Reddit, 
just reading about soccer and stuff at around 3 or 4 am in my empty dorm room. All of a sudden I feel fking terrified. The strangest thing of all is that there was no reason why I should be scared, no strange noises, no looming figures, nothing. Just pure fear. I was in the garage getting something when I heard an extremely loud, wet fart like the kind my dad rips. I was home alone. It wasn't me. I still get creeped out by that poltergeist sometimes. This was my story from a similar thread months ago but it still pertains. It was 2 am and I was bored. So I went out to this park a bit out of town to go biking. It for the most part is surrounded by trees at all ends, with a running slash biking track that goes around the park. The park was lined with street lights though, so you could vaguely see. I've been going there for a few times that week around this time because it unwinded me and felt good at that out outside. But this time when I was making my rounds. I see four fking six year old looking figures come out of the forest. It was four to seven of them I don't remember. I was kind of biking in their general direction when they started fking coming towards me. Thankfully I was around 200 feet away from them but I could make out them and the spooky little shits were coming. I don't think I biked faster my entire life. I literally became Lance Armstrong with an extra testicle for a good three minutes, charging it home. It was unexplainable. I've been alone and haven't seen a single person all the times I went. I haven't gone since, needless to say. Playing Dead Space, for those that don't know, it's a very creepy video game, and there was a little tap on my window. I immediately looked over to see if anyone was there, but thought otherwise and assumed it was a tree. About 10 seconds later, a multitude of knocks on my window sent me into a fetal position the jaws of life couldn't get me out of. I army crawled myself throughout the house. I am on the bus and it was just me and of course the bus driver. I like to sit near the front of the bus, just because, and I heard someone say to me behind me can I ask you a question? I mean nobody was there, I even asked the bus driver and she said she heard that too, it was kinda creepy. I was camping with friends. It was early in the season and we were the only ones in that section of the park. One morning I stayed in my sleeping bag in the tent while everyone else went to the facilities, which were a bit of a walk away. I dozed off again. I was groggy and assumed it was a friend playing a joke and kicked and said FCK off. My foot was grabbed again and pulled, and I kicked again pretty hard, not afraid to kick my friend who was now pissing me off. He stopped and I dozed off again. I woke up again probably less than half an hour later and heard my friends in the distance, returning. When they got back I asked them who was the one trying to wake me up. They had no idea what I was talking about, honestly. I still have no idea what it was. It wasn't even dark out at the time. Once I was the only one at work getting ready to shut it down for the night. I work in a really old warehouse that has been around for at least 50 years. As I was walking past a room a garbage can flew out the door and hit the wall with force about a foot in front of me. Checked out the room and nothing. I opened my eyes. And realized I was two hours late for work. Scary SHD right there, man. I spoke to the ghost of my great grandmother on the telephone. I didn't recognize her voice because she had died over 60 years before I was born. But a very elderly sounding lady called and calmly told me to tell Essie it is time to come home now. Two hours later my grandmother's assisted living home called and told us that my grandmother, Esther, had passed away in her sleep. Her mother had died when she was 16, and Essie was my grandmother's childhood nickname. I followed around a shadow person in my friend's creepy attic thinking it was him, then finding out he was downstairs the whole time. When I was younger, about 7, I was home alone and I heard the door open. My parents had gone out to celebrate a birthday with a few friends and I wasn't allowed to go. My older sisters were at a sleepover. I assumed it was my parents getting home and I ran to the door but nobody was in the house after a thorough search. I then heard the back door to the house open and a man yell hurry get the hell out. I really didn't understand what was going on at the moment so I just closed the doors and locked them. After my parents got home my mom and dad accused me of taking their money they had stashed away and asking me what I did with a few different things. After I told them what happened they didn't believe me until they saw that the hallway downstairs leading to our back door had muddy boot prints. They called the cops and freaked out. Heard my name whispered to me from the top of the dark staircase. This house was located on an old Indian boarding school campus, 
next to a cemetery. The ancient Indian burial ground is very true. Different house, I was drifting off to sleep and had both dogs in the room with me, a pit bull and husky. Suddenly the pit bull starts growling like I've never heard him before. He's facing the closet so I know he wasn't growling at the husky. Later I hear from my parents that they've seen an older woman in the house. I was probably around 6, this isn't paranormal or anything but is really scary and when I look back it's still really scary. I was in my backyard playing with my cousin waiting for my mom to come outside as well. I got a nasty feeling so I said to my cousin Jane let's head inside and when I looked up he was gone, told my mom and she looked out front and on the street right away but he wasn't around. It was just really scary and I can't help but think we avoided a close call. Buried by now, but here it is. Had a veteran female marine in my anatomy class that was having problems with what she assumed was a stalker. She had a guy from a town about 40 minutes away come set up her computer for her and debug it. The guy is bragging about how he's ex-military intelligence, blah blah. Mind you, she's a fairly attractive single woman and a mother of four. Her house is huge and has a pretty good alarm system installed including a motion sensor camera. The alarm system also gives her updated lists of which doors have been opened and the times. She has several firearms so she loaded one and checked the house. Nothing. She leaves, sets the alarm, and doesn't think anything of it, just thought she's going nuts from stress. She realized she wasn't hearing things and called the police and the alarm company. They came, searched the house, and came up with nothing. Fast forward a week later, the alarm is still acting up, cops have been called a second time, and her neighbor has helped her search the house. She asks me while in class to come home with her and search her house with a gun. I agree. On the way there, the alarm is being weird. We get to the house. Start downstairs and work our way up. We get upstairs and I ask if she's ever checked the attic, she says no. My adrenaline is pumping as we open the crawl space door. I climb up first not knowing what or who I'll find. We look around with guns and flashlights pointed around. We walked over to check and no one was there. We climb down from the attic and shut the door. She recognizes that sound as the sound she heard the first morning when home alone. We go downstairs to chill out and wait for her kids to get home. I then notice the doggy door on her back door. I inspect it to find the lock can be unlocked easily by sliding a key across the latch. The person has been entering and exiting through the doggy door. We left immediately to go buy a new door and come back to install it. After leaving, she got an update that the doors from the garage, into the house, and out the back door had been triggered in the grace period. They had been hiding in the garage while we were in the house. Installed the new door, problems ceased. Scary shit. There was heavy tapping on all the windows around my house. Whatever it was seemed to be moving around tapping at every window with extreme speed. It didn't answer to my repeated screams as to who or what it was. Then it stopped, almost as if it lost interest in toying with me. This happened to me recently. I had just moved in with my boyfriend into an apartment, and was in bed going to sleep. One of my earplugs came out of my ear somehow, they are the orange earplugs you get for shooting, seems difficult to just fall out. I was all cranky from waking up that I took my other earplug out and threw it across the room by the door. I think I was dreaming but I could sense something at the foot of my bed reaching out to give me my earplug. I could see it trying to hand me my earplug, and if I leaned over I could take it from them. If you made it to the end of the video, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share and we will see you in the next video.